Welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. Today, I'll be going over this week's Advanced Knowledge Problem of the Week. For the full problem and solution transcript, you can see the link in the description of this video on our YouTube channel. So this week's Advanced Knowledge Problem of the Week asks you, given two subspaces of V, S1 and S2, where V is a vector space, we are trying to show that S1 intersect S2 is also a subspace of V. So we're going to use the properties of the subspaces in order to kind of construct a proof that S, S1 intersect S2 is a subspace, which is a fact that might kind of seem, you know, inherently obvious, but um, the proof might be a little bit more subtle, so. Okay, so in order to show that S1 intersect 2, S2 is a subspace of V, we need to show that S1 intersect S2 is closed under scalar addition and closed under scal scalar multiplication in order to show that it is a subspace of V. So we know um, for some scalars, so we choose some scalars F1, and F2 um, in, in the space uh, S1 intersect S2. Uh, we know by the property of the intersection, or by definition, excuse me, that we know that both, this means that both F1 and F2 are in, uh, are in S1. So we know that since, F, that since S1 is closed under scalar addition, we know that this implies that since these elements are both in uh, S1 here, we know that F1 plus uh, F2 is also in S1. Therefore, uh, we know that because this is, and this is just because uh, S1 is closed under scalar addition. Same with S2. We know that because F1 and F2, F1 and F2 are in, is in um, F, S, S1 intersect S2, uh, we know that that implies that F1 and F2 are also in S2, which means that F1 plus F2 are also in S2, because S2 is closed under scalar, uh, scalar addition. Excuse me. So since we know that F1 plus F2 is in S1, and F1 plus F2 is also in S2, we know that this implies that F1 plus F2 is in uh, S1 intersect S2. So this means that S1 intersect S2 is closed under scalar addition. Um, so that was the first one of the uh, properties we were trying to prove in order to prove that S1 intersect S2 is a subspace of uh, V. So the second is uh, scalar multiplication, which we're going to approach in rather the same fashion. So say that we have some scalar R, so some R, some scalar R. Uh, so, and say also just like as above, we have some F that is in uh, S1 intersect S2. So therefore, by definition, we know, uh, by definition of the intersection here, we know that F, this implies that F is in S1. And since we know that S1 is closed under scalar multiplication, we know that uh, this implies that um, R times F is also in S1, because S1 is closed under scalar, scalar multiplication. So we can go ahead and do the same thing for S2. So we know that by the definition of the intersection, we know that uh, F is also in S2 because F is in the intersect, intersection of S1 and S2. So F is in uh, S2, which means that because S2 is also closed under scalar multiplication, we know that this implies that R uh, times F is also in S2. And just as with the closed under scalar addition, we can see here, we can see here that since um, RF is in S1 and RF is also in S2. We know that this implies, that this implies here, uh, implies that um, RF is also in S1 intersect S2, which is exactly what we we're trying to prove. So we've just proven that, um, that S1 intersect S2 is closed under scalar multiplication, and over here it is closed under scalar addition. Um, we kind of did that by breaking down, uh, by kind of going, like from the definition, we, so we said, okay, we're going to choose some function or some elements, excuse me, that are, in, that are in each of these or that are in the intersection. Then we break it down using the definition of a subset or properties of a, a subspace, excuse me, to say that, uh, okay, so we find these, this element that's also that's in S1 and S2, and therefore we know that S1 and S2, S1 intersect S2 is going to be uh, closed under scalar addition and in scalar multiplication. And by those two properties, we've also just proven that um, S1 intersect S2 is uh, also a subspace of V. So that's going to be it for today's Advanced Knowledge Problem of the Week. For the full, um, to see more of these problems, 
uh, see more Problem of the Week problems, you can click on this uh, to see our playlist here. To subscribe to our YouTube channel, you can click here. And to visit us at centerofmath.org, click this link here. Thank you for watching.